88 was a six-month party that forever changed Brisbane and it showcased all of Australia to the world. And so, so Sally Ann, um, I've just lost you there. I hope the rest of Australia yeah. can hear you. But um, it, it, it sparked a lot of changes, not only to Brisbane, but uh, the way that Australia was presented to the world. I, I think it did. It certainly presented the way that uh, Brisbane was presented to the rest of the world uh, and presented to the rest of Australia, which, of course, in many cases, that is the rest of the world. I think, the, but to me, the most important thing about Expo for us was that it gave Brisbane people a feeling of confidence and that we really were a grown-up city. We knew we were before, but we had this small feeling that everybody else didn't think we were. How did you get it across the line? Because it, it took a long time to be approved. The idea of holding an expo had been bounced around for quite a while. Well, those were the days when you didn't have to go out to get public uh, confirmation. You didn't have to go through the process that you do now for things like the Commonwealth Games or the Olympic Games or indeed Expo. So Joe Bianchi Peterson, bless his heart, went off to Paris, I think it was, and said, we'd like to have Expo, and goodness me, we certainly did. So the process of getting Expo really wasn't very well known at all. And even I don't actually know the details of how it happened. If all you saw about Brisbane was, was Expo, you could be forgiven for thinking we're a pretty weird mob. <laughs> well... A weird and a jolly mob, um, <laughs> and, and a fun place to be. And of course, um, this evening at the Museum of Brisbane, the new Museum of Brisbane, there's the opening of this marvellous exhibition of the Expo Parades. It's just the, the parade part of Expo, those parades that happen every night. They were fun, <laughs> they were weird, but goodness, we had a lovely time. And people came from all over Australia and said, wow, this is Brisbane. We didn't really know about this place as, as it was. And I think and then Brisbane's got on from just, you know, strength to strength after that. I think we just saw Emilio Iglesias. I don't remember him coming out, but what was he like? Did you bump into him? Oh, every, I don't remember him coming out. I remember him being here for a concert at some stage. Margaret Thatcher came out, the King and Queen of Spain came out, that the Romanian dictator, Mr. Ceausescu, he and his wife came out. Um, God was here. All sorts of people were, people were here. Um, you know, it really, it gave us a chance to taste the world. I, or my, my great expo memory is a Brisbane City Council bus driver saying to me, I need never go overseas now because the rest of the world has been on my bus. And I thought, that's lovely. That's yeah, it lovely. was lovely. It, you know, it wasn't the, just the great entertainers. Like John Farnham was there, of course, uh, John Denver, uh, Ice House, uh, lots of fantastic uh, performers, international and local, were there. Uh, Kylie, Richard Wilkins fronted up. Um, that was one of the highlights. Uh, Sally, what, what, what was your favourite part of Expo? What's, what's your abiding um, display? And, and where has all this stuff ended up? Well, the, the parades, um, of course, are on display now, or the, or the photographs of the display, elements of the displays, of, of the parades, I mean, are on display in the museum. The sculptures that were an integral part of the Expo site they're dotted all over Brisbane, wonderful, wonderful, world-class um, sculptures, the sort of public art that you'd die to have happened in your city, and we actually got it, we were able to buy it as a legacy of, of Expo. I suppose for me, the, the most exciting part of Expo, or the most important part of Expo, was the fact that before Expo, people in Brisbane, and you probably one of them can, your family ate tea at 5.30, and we all went to bed fairly early, with Expo, people were eating out every night, and from then on, the lifestyle of Brisbane has really taken off. Was it the death of meat and three veg at five o'clock, was it? <laughs> I think I rather liked meat and three veg, but yes, what it said was that people knew there was something different in the world, and eating out was a good thing to do. Yeah, all right, great memories and uh, very transformational for Brisbane, Sally Ann. Uh, you had a great energy as Lord Mayor, and you've still got it. Thanks for speaking to us this morning. <laughs> this hour of the morning, yes. <laughs>